Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Dean. I'm with Hooked on Books for Kids. And today I'm going to read you a book called Thank You, Jackson, How One Little Boy Makes a Big Difference by Nikki and Jude Daly. It's a fun little book with lots of nice pictures. It's good for people who are able to read for themselves, but also it's a fun book to have read to you. Okay, once there was a farmer who had a wife called Beauty, a son called Goodwill, and an old donkey called Jackson. Every market morning, the farmer would load potatoes, carrots, corn, and pumpkins onto his old donkey's strong back and take him up the hill to the market. And up the hill, Jackson would go without complaint or rest. Then one morning, the old donkey decided to stop halfway up and go no further. What's the matter? asked the farmer. But his donkeys cannot talk. The farmer got no answer. Irritated, he began pushing from behind, saying, Go! Go! But Jackson would not go. The farmer tried pulling Jackson from the front. Come! Come! he pleaded, afraid that he might lose customers if he arrived too late at the market. Still, Jackson would not budge. The poor animal had had enough of this thankless task, carrying heavy loads year after year uphill to the market. Can't blame him, can you? It's a hard job for a donkey. And by the way, they're known to be stubborn. <laughs> Bad donkey, shouted the farmer. With that, Jackson sat down, and the vegetables fell from his back and rolled down the hill. Furious, the farmer began looking for a stick to beat, beat the stubborn animal. Yeah, there he is, all the vegetables spilled all over the place. Let's see. I'll count to ten, and if you're not standing up, I'll give you a taste of this, scolded the farmer, showing Jackson what a big stick he had found. Then he began to count. One two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Down below, Beauty, the farmer's wife, had seen all that was happening on the hill. She called to her son, Goodwill. Please, she said, would you go and help your father with the donkey? Yes, Mama, replied Goodwill. Thank you, son, said his Mama. At once, the little boy set off up the hill. There you can see him going. The old donkey was happy to see Goodwill. Slowly, the farmer lowered his stick and watched as Goodwill went up to Jackson and whispered something in his ear. Immediately, the old donkey rose to his feet. Sorry. <laughs> the farmer was amazed. What did you say to get this stubborn animal off his lazy behind, he asked. Mama said, explained Goodwill, that it's the little things, like saying please and thank you, that makes a big difference in the world. Ashamed, the farmer dropped his stick. Not once had he ever thanked his old donkey for the many years of carrying loads to the market. Quietly, they gathered up the vegetables and loaded some onto Jackson's back, while some they carried themselves. At the market, they laid out the potatoes, carrots, corn, and pumpkin under a shady tree while the tired old donkey grazed nearby on a patch of grass. By the end of the day, all the vegetables had been sold, and the farmer, his little boy, and the old donkey set off for home. Back at the farm, Beauty had supper waiting for them. But first, said the farmer, I have something to say to Jackson. He turned to his old donkey, 
stroked him gently and whispered in his ear, thank you, Jackson. There you are. And it plays always to say please and thank you, doesn't it? Gets you a lot farther than demanding and carrying a big stick. Thank you.